in your life, you will obtain so many certificates. But the most important certificate in your life, it is your death certificate. When you come into this life, you don't know who brought you in. When you leave this life, you don't know who buried you. When you come in this life, they will shroud you. Similarly, when you leave this life, after they give you the ghusl, they will shroud you. The anguish of death will come with the truth. What is the truth? The truth that you will die. And the truth that you will not come back. And the truth that you will be resurrected. And the truth that you will hear your name on judgment day. Wallahi ma ba'da dunya min dar illa jannah aw nar. By Allah, there is no dwelling after this life except heaven or hell. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, in your life, you will obtain so many certificates, some of a graduation, some even birth certificate, some marriage certificate, even a driver license certificate. When you graduate, some of them you will actually put on the wall. You will frame them. You are so proud of them. This is who you are. You actually get people to see it. Look, this is who I am. This is what I did. This is what I established. This is what I accomplished. This is my goal in life. I'm so proud. But the most important certificate in your life is the one that you will never see. The certificate that makes it or breaks it for you, the one that you will not see, you will not be able to frame, you will not be able to show your friends. It is your death certificate. Please note that the assembly and the similitude and the parable of those who come into this life and leave this life is so close. If you think and ponder about that reflection, when you come into this life, you don't know who brought you in. When you leave this life, you don't know who buried you. When you come in this life, you will be washed. When you leaving this life, they will give you ghusl. They will wash you. When you come into this life after the nurse washes you, they will shroud you. Similarly, when you leave this life after they give you the ghusl, they will shroud you. When you come to this life, people will be so happy. You're crying, they're happy. But after you leave this life, some of them will be happy and some of them will be sad. Your soul will leave your body from your toes and it goes up and it leaves your body from the top of your head. That's why your eyes go up to follow the spirit as it leaves your body. That's why we have to close your eyes when you die. Think about it. As your spirit leaves, I want you to think that you're taking a plane. And as your spirit leaves, as you're watching your body dying on the floor, or on the ground, or on the bed, whatever it may be, you're looking at it in a way that you want to come back, but you will never be able to come back. After you see the truth, فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٌ After you see the truth, and that's why Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula says, وَجَاءَتْ In the past tense, وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ The anguish of death will come with the truth. What is the truth? The truth that you will die. And the truth that you will not come back. And the truth that doctor will not help you. And the truth is that you will be buried. And the truth that you will be resurrected. And the truth that you will hear your name on judgment day. And the truth that there is no translator between you and him. And the truth that you will be resurrected unclothed. The truth is that you will ask four questions. Three in the grave. The truth is that you cannot have a lawyer or bribe an angel. The truth is there is heaven or hell. Wallahi ma ba'da dunya min dar illa jannah aw nar. By Allah, there is no dwelling after this life except heaven or hell. And the truth is that you will get 99 files. Every file as far as your eyesight can see. مَا لِهَذَا الْكِتَابِ لَا يُغَادِرُ صَغِيرَةً وَلَا كَبِيرَةً إِلَّا أَحْصَاهَا وَوَجَدُوا مَا عَمِلُوا حَاضِرًا وَلَا يَظْلِمُ رَبُّكَ أَحَدًا You will find everything that is seen. Everything. One file as far as your eyesight can see. You will get 99 of those.
Everything you said, touched, walked, felt, whims, limbs and desires, uttered, heard, seen, everything is recorded. Think about it. يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ لِكُلِّ مْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ شَأْنُ يُغْنِي You will run away from your family, you will run away from your wife, you will run away from your kids, everything will say nafsi, nafsi. Myself, myself, on that day, what day? 50,000 years where the sun leaves its orbit comes close to your head. People will be drenched in the sweat, some of them even raising their necks to make sure that they can actually breathe. That is the day, Tara, Kulla Ummah, Jafiya, buckling on your knees. When? Waji ayawma idim bi jahannam. The hellfire would be brought forth. And it would be brought forth how, ya akhi? 70,000 rains where it's controlled by. 70,000 rains is controlling the hellfire. And every single rain is controlled by 70,000 angels. One type of a person will be saved. وَإِن مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا كَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّكَ حَتْمًا مَقْضِيًّا In Tawqeed, indeed, certainty, there is no doubt. Every one of us will walk over it. Every one of us will pass over it on the Sirat. This Sirat, this path or the bridge could be as wide as the valley or narrow as a hair. Sharp as a sword, bright as the days, or the dark of the darkest nights. Depending on your actions and deeds, if you walked on the straight path in this life, you would be able to cross this path. If you walk crooked, you will fall. Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula mentioned that. The attribute that you need to attain in this life is the one of most importance that will save you on, the, on judgment day. ثُمَّ نُنَجِّ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْا اللَّهُمَّ جَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَتَّقِينَ Allah will save those who have taqwa. May Allah make us among them. Ameen.